What's going on the guys, Kroko here and welcome to some Call of Duty Black Ops. Now, uh, with all the excitement regarding E3, of course, this commentary has to be about Black Ops 2. Uh, but before we get into it, I want to say that this gameplay, this gameplay right here with the MP5K, um, I went on Black Ops uh, disregarding my, you know, that I had to recover and stuff like that, but I thought to myself, you know what, maybe it's not going to be, maybe it's not going to be that painful. And I have to say, after three games of trying to record something for you guys, my neck, <laughs> my neck was hurting so much, it's not even funny, but the stupid perfectionist inside of me was like, no, you have to keep going, you have to get something better. And then my brain was like, no, you have to stop because then you're going to strain something and it's going to hurt like a motherfucker. So that's basically what happened. <laughs> um, the perfectionist in me kind of got the best of me. So I stayed on Black Ops for like, I don't know, six or seven games and this turned out to be the best and then I was just like, you know what? That's it. I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> I'm not gonna put myself through this. So I hope you guys enjoy. And if you did, of course, be sure to leave a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that very, very much. Um, so yeah, I I'm really low level here. Um, I just prestige to level 213 prestige. So I have no kill streaks like Chopper Gunner or or SR71 or stuff like that. So I'm rocking, you know, the standard, um, the UAV, the care package, and uh, the attack helicopter. The only thing that got better with me is my voice, as you guys can probably hear. But from now on, of course, uh, every day I'm going to get better. Uh, thank you, thanks to those, of course, painkillers, because I wouldn't make it through the night, to be quite honest. Uh, but uh, yeah, so yesterday we had the Microsoft conference, we had the EA conference, and we had, of course, the Ubisoft conference, uh, I believe. So today we have Nintendo. Now, the Microsoft conference, I have to say, was rather boring. Um, it was a lot of emphasis was put on Kinect, which I care nothing about. If you follow me on Twitter, uh, you would probably know. Same thing goes for the Sony conference. Nothing really special aside from a couple of games that I'm really, really interested in. Uh, although I have to, I have to say, uh, Halo 4 and, and all the other kind of exclusive games for Xbox look look really, really good. Um, uh, this is a waste of Valkyrie rockets. I don't know what the hell I did there. It was rather hard to aim, I have to say. Uh, but uh, yeah, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, when, when it was finally announced at the end, it was kind of like it was swept under the rug, which I didn't appreciate. Um, in previous E3s, they, they you know, showcased, a, they talked a lot, they showcased a lot. Um, just go back to 2010, where they announced Black Ops 2, excuse me, Black Ops on E3. You know, you had the uh, executive producer or whatever coming out, talking about the game. And over here, you had just one dude playing the game not even talk about it and and that's it the demo is over so this might indicate that the contract between Activision and Microsoft is ending so it's kind of some bad blood going on over there uh, of course they mentioned that it's you know the biggest shooter and stuff like that um, but as far as from appearances goes Black Ops 2 looks really good uh, I'm really happy about it but the only thing that bothers me is why the hell do they keep changing the running animation from year by year I mean from Black Ops to Modern Warfare 3, in Black Ops you ran normally. In fucking Modern Warfare 3 it looks like you have either, I don't know, some sort of polio or something. It, it makes you really, the running animation is really bad in my opinion. And same thing goes for Black Ops 2. It looks like you're rowing, like you're in a canoe and you're rowing. So that's kind of weird, but you know, that's just a stupid animation that I picked up. Uh, aside from that, they, they, impl they implemented like a new hit marker. Uh, that that's you know that's like glowing white and stuff like that to kind of indicate the futuristic sense and it looks really good uh, they didn't of course they didn't show the multiplayer uh, that went for Medal of Honor Warfighter where they actually did showcase the multiplayer uh, and I'm going to talk about it in my <coughs> later video today kind of do uh, uh, my thoughts on Medal of Honor Warfighter reveal uh, because they really revealed a lot uh, but as far as Black Ops goes this is pretty much standard year by year we had a vehicle sequence, we had buttloads of explosives, we had some gun action, and that's pretty much it. We didn't see a lot. Uh, I am really excited about the game because it is something new, it is something fresh. Uh, we can't really bitch about the game just from seeing the uh, a little sneak peek of campaign. That would be rather stupid, so I suggest we wait till August or whatever it is that they're going to reveal the multiplayer. It's probably going to be like at COD XP or something. Um, they might have it. But a lot of emphasis is, of course, going to be put on Call of Duty Elite, like 2.0 or whatever, so combat record. More than likely, it's not going to return. 
which is kind of a bummer, but you know, whatever. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be renewing my subscription to uh, to Elite. I'm not sure. It depends what they offer. But from the standpoint alone, from the first um, footage from Black Ops 2, looks good. You know, like any other Call of Duty, uh, it does seem a bit different with the weapons. Definitely looks a lot futuristic. Especially with that sniper rifle, uh, kind of re reminded me of Resistance uh, with the Ogre or the Marksman, if you guys know what I'm talking about, uh, Resistance Fall of Men series. Uh, but, you know, other than that, remember, it, the action does not take place in, three th in the year 3000, it takes only, you know, 15 years from now, uh, or, or something like that, like 13 years from now, excuse me. So it's not going to be all too bad. There were, there were, of course, drones flying around, as, as you would expect in the future. But remember, this is just a campaign, so there's no point in bitching about the game. Looked really good to me, really solid. Uh, the explosions look, lo looked really Treyarch-ish, which, which I appreciate because I love the uh, feel of Black Ops. But the engine looks kind of new. So I don't know if they borrowed the engine from Infinity Ward, or like they say, they just tweaked up the lighting a bit. But it looks different, I have to say. Uh, now, that's not a bad thing at all, but I would like Treyarch to keep its own feel. And <laughs> the only thing that really ruined it for me is the running animation. I mean, go back to that demo and look how the dude runs. It's like he's rowing <laughs> in a canoe, which is kind of weird. But uh, again, we have to wait till Call of Duty XP uh, to know some more info. Uh, because it's definitely going to be happening. I mean, Call of Duty XP was a huge success last year. A lot of people went. Uh, it made tons of money for Activision and Infinity Ward, so why should they stop? Uh, final scores 30 and 4. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you uh, later with some Medal of Honor uh, Warfighter breakdown footage, I guess, or, or something gameplay. Uh, so I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.